What's up, peeps? I'm watching this uh, L.A. game, <laughs> L.A. and Denver game. And I, I thought of a story from my childhood. So it's three minutes left. Denver is going to win this game. So I, I was raised in Birmingham, Alabama, but I spent a large majority of my time in Bessemer, um, Fairfax Avenue. And I remember one of the people that live I won't say no names because, you know, you may watch this video. But one of the people that lived in Bessemer had some friends come from out of town. So we're from Alabama. Everybody is from up north. If you're from, you know, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, it don't matter if you're from up north. Well, these particular cousins um, that came to, these people that came to visit one of our friends from Fairfax Avenue, you know, they kind of terrorized us normal people. They were kind of bullies, you know, they were arrogant, you know, you southern dudes, blah, blah, blah. Um, they were arrogant. They kind of mistreated us a little bit. Well, at the time, we had a guy, uh, one of the best football players I've ever seen in my, in my life. But at the time, growing up, Dwayne Harris, he graduated from Lanier High School, went to Nebraska, won the championship in Nebraska. Well... This particular time, we out in the field behind the projects playing, and they was acting crazy and, you know, kind of terrorizing us again. Dwayne Harris wasn't having it. And I remember vividly how Dwayne punked the oldest one of the visitors that came down. He was like the kingpin, you know what I'm saying, visiting for the summer. And he was trying to pick up this rock. And Dwayne, Dwayne ended up being like 6'4", 280 in college. Dwayne picked up the rock, gave it to him. And the dude had the rock because he was acting like he was, if he got the rock, he was going to do something to Dwayne with it. <laughs> he looked around. <laughs> Dwayne picked, up a, picked the rock up and gave it to him. He looked around, dropped the rock, took off running. Everybody else took off running. I felt like that analogy applies to this Clippers team. You know, they got real cocky when they got Kawhi. Patrick Beverly was, was extra talkative. That Morris boy was extra talkative. Now he's a real life goon now. He ain't just a tough guy, he's a goon now. Um, Paul George, you know, I felt, especially when they played against the, the Dallas Mavericks, you know, the way they was trying to intimidate Luka and do, do these kind of things. Well, against Denver, they came in, the out-of-town guys came in, and when stuff got rough, they was looking for the rock to pretend like they was going to do something to Denver. Jokic and Murray picked up the rock and gave it to him and said, now what you going to do about it? And the Clippers are running. They took off running. This is what happened when you have people that ain't scared. Denver Nuggets are wearing the Clippers out without Will Barton, who's one of their best players, and he's hurt. The Denver Nuggets are dogs. Despite Mike Malone, I don't even like him as a coach that much, but they are dogs. Jamal Murray is putting himself, if he's not at the top 10, he's trying to put himself in the top 10. And Jokic is making a claim to be the best big man in the game. This is what happened. The Clippers were bullies, and Denver punched them in the mouth, and they took off running. That's really what happened. Now, it looks like it's going to be Denver and the Lakers. LeBron James may have, may have taken some losses early, especially the Miami, the first Miami-Dallas um, series, but he's not going to wilt. So Denver is going to punch. They're going to kick and claw, but I don't think it's going to be enough for the King. He's too smart, too smart, too composed. But tonight, it is your night, Denver. The Clippers have to regroup. Doc has restaken his claim as the most overrated coach in the nation, any sport, the only coach in NBA history to have lost three 3-1 three leads in the playoffs. 
Jerry West, is Jerry West still there? I can't, I can't think. Either way, the Clippers, you all, Kawhi, PG-13, this is a permanent stain to your record, especially you, PG-13. I've been taking up for you for years, brother. Uh, I thought you were a legit number two. Uh, you looking real number three-ish, number four-ish right now. Very disappointing series. Proud of Denver with the way that they played.